Sunil, thanks very much. Afternoon. Uh, how do you rate the budget? So I think, you know, a lot has been already said. So there is very little incremental uh, I can share with you. But the only good thing is that this is a policy statement. It is behind us. Uh, there has been no, uh, uh, you know, disruption in terms of uh, the way we do uh, business, the way the investments have uh, uh, taken place. And I think uh, the fact that uh, a lot of uh, market participants were expecting some tinkering with the capital gains and that has not happened, I think that should be the biggest positive from a capital market perspective. Obviously, the fact that uh, the 3.5% fiscal deficit target has been retained despite uh, additional both planned and unplanned uh, uh, expenses, I think that should be a, a key positive. There have been some segments obviously where there has been some enhanced tax, specifically uh, so-called uh, the h &I or the rich category, whether it's a dividend or a, a particular amount or or some tinkering with excise on, on uh, garments uh, above a particular amount, as well as uh, ATF, uh, uh, you know, fuel, and uh, even on, on motor cars. Other than that, I think it's been a, a, a pretty good budget uh, given the circumstances we are in. Um, and the fact that we have uh, maintained the fiscal deficit at 3.5%, as I mentioned earlier, should give us hope that uh, uh, some kind of rate cuts can be expected as we move forward. So I think all in all, a pretty decent budget. Uh, you know, this uh, more and more things are getting clear as they do every budget a little, a few hours down the line, many more things start appearing as well. So this oil bid, I mean, uh, CES uh, has been uh, changed from uh, 4,500 rupees a ton to 20% ad valorem. I think much higher than what was expected. No, I think the current CES is 9,000. The expectation was that the CES would be reduced uh, to 4,500. So in that sense, the CES has been reduced, but it is lower than what people expected. Uh, but I think it's okay. You know, there are, you, you have, you'll have some sectors which will uh, be positively impacted here and there and some which would be negatively impacted. But I think we have seen over the past four or five years that uh, the budgetary announcements and the tinkering as far as the tax rates are concerned are sort of, uh, you know, taken the stride by the respective companies and sectors and we are back in business as normal uh, in the next few weeks. So, uh, we should not be unduly worried about that. No, the CES payable to the government by upstream oil marketing companies was uh, 4,500 rupees a ton. Uh, that is now 20%. That is what I am re reading from the document, which is now uploaded. So, this is... Uh, so, uh, maybe uh, you're talking about something else. I think there was another expectation as well, but this is the cess to the government from companies. Uh, I think oil so market... Our, oil, our, yeah. our uh, yeah. understanding is that it was 9,000 rupees, uh, and which has been brought uh, now to 20% ad valorem. Okay. okay, fair enough. Uh, tobacco, uh, Sunil, the 10%, uh, 10.3 or percent is the average hike. Better than expected? See, again, as I mentioned, Prashant, you know, one or two percent here and there should not lead to any major sort of uh, case for either investment or disinvestment, you know, in respective stocks and sectors. So, yes, you know, there are a few sectors which obviously pre-budget uh, always have some uh, negative expectations. Cigarette is one of them. And, uh, you know, the expectation was that there would be a 12 to 15 percent hike in excise on cigarettes. Instead, it's come to more closer to 10%. So, we have seen some uh, short covering maybe, you know, from day traders there. But I don't think that uh, 1 or 2% lower uh, is going to uh, make a person, you know, take a fresh view. So, I think it's status quo as usual. Uh, there should not be anything too much read into uh, a small, uh, you know, <coughs> surprise, both on the positives and the negatives uh, as far as sectors are concerned. Sunil, uh, the, you, you know, it's quite telling. You said, the, in a way, the biggest positive is what has not happened in the budget, right? Tinkering with capital gains, etc. So, in a way, uh, and we've heard this from other corporates as well. Now, there, there isn't very much, they didn't have very much room to do things. They've stuck to the target. So, this is what you essentially get. Uh, but in terms of enthusiasm or uh, making any significant change, I mean, this budget doesn't do that, right? So, yes, you know, the, the, uh, uh, leaving the capital gains as it is has been uh, sort of a positive in the sense that there was a built-up of a case for, uh, uh, you know, imposition of long-term capital gains or increasing the tenure 
uh, of your investment you should qualify uh, as long term uh, that has not uh, happened and you know obviously when you expect something negative and the negative does not come in uh, it is taken as a positive on the overall uh, policy document i think the the you know the message is very clear uh, the country has to focus on development the country has to focus on agriculture and the com country also has to focus on infrastructure so the outlay for road and rail has been increased quite dramatically uh, uh, without uh, you know increasing the the fiscal deficit the finance minister has ensured that uh, uh, you know the the poor uh, are given a little bit uh, of a benefit at the expense uh, of uh, taxing a little bit more as far as the so called luxury items are concerned so i think in the direction uh, bit i think the budget has met our expectations but uh, increasingly over the last 3 4 years if you see you know the budget uh, is more now a, a policy statement rather than uh, a tinkering of taxes too much because our tax regime is more or less settled uh you know this budget obviously is trying to get uh, the message that we are giving you one last opportunity to come clean by way of so called uh, 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 vdis scheme uh and uh, again the message is very clear that henceforth uh, the tax compliance would be taken very seriously so i think in terms of the direction in the message uh, the the budget comes out uh, very very clear um sunil thanks very much great speaking with you